things in a different way. So it caters to different pupils' abilities and strengths and weaknesses that way. I think it's a lot better than it was a few years ago without it. Uh, Milford Haven School is a approximately 900 pupil mixed comprehensive school, 11 to 18. We feel that digital competence is really important because of the world we live in. We're constantly evolving technologies and we need to be preparing our learners to meet that challenge. I think it's helped a lot as without it we wouldn't be able to do that much more than what we used, like, used to do in primary school and it's just massively increased our learning skills. Technology has increased the learning opportunities immensely, not only in the academic side and the subject I teach specifically, but more importantly in um, the pastoral side of education. So with my form class, we have a Google Classroom and it opens up form to be the whole time instead of just 15 minutes in the morning. So they've got access to form notices, school events. They, uh, we've allowed the feature for students to comment. It's completely engaged and we can embed media, we can make it more diverse. Um, yeah, and it's really uh, sparked their imagination. I think it's, um, yeah, they love it. They really enjoy it. It's a big difference because without the tech, we wouldn't learn what we learn now. It's a good use and it helps us to do what we do now. It's certainly um, enhanced engagement in, in lessons, which is definitely impacted. Um, and we have, we have measurable um, information to, sh to show that. I think it's amazing having it in school because it helps a lot with the lessons. You can get work from the board straight to your computer because I do IT and computer in GCSE. So like you can get work from the board, you can do it at home. It's really good, yeah. It, it, it's great. It makes marking easier, for example, tracking students' work much easier. Um, the kids are less hesitant about putting pen to paper. Um, it's a big leveller, you know. I think ICT across the curriculum is a wonderful thing, you know. And the way we're rolling out, I think, is making massive changes. Well, it's definitely impacted on my learning in a good way because I can, like with Google Classroom, I can track my assignments and keep on top of my work more efficiently. The Aspire to Be training we really all enjoyed. Um, we found that the staff were extremely helpful um, for all abilities. You know, you, you've got staff who were scared of technology going away in the afternoon after having been trained creating worksheets on Google Docs, creating self-marking quizzes on Google Forms and just chucking them straight out to kids, you know, within hours of coming out with the training. So that has been fantastic. They're still available if we ever have problems running any of the apps. Um, we just send a quick email off and we can get really good feedback straight away. So I think that's how they differ from others, is that they don't just um, provide the service and then leave that I feel like we're still supported. We've got one more week of, of training for teachers next week, in fact, on um, Google Apps for Education. And then at that point, we have about 99% of the staff have been uh, skilled in, in Google Apps for Education, including support staff, because we feel um, we are also upskilling our support staff, those structures in line with, with, with what's happening in the classroom as well. Um, the next stage is to do some more work on DCF, and we hope to still work with Aspire to be to help with that, rolling out that um, important framework across the school. So we really hope that we can keep working with them um, into the future. It's, it's, it's good, you know, it's just uh, been very useful and very uh, big change, positive, very good. The difference around the school is huge, absolutely massive. You know, there was um, geography is on the way back to my classroom, right? I was walking up there and the geography teacher had just been trained on iPad, green screen and they were doing news reports from and Vesuvius erupting in the background, you know. That's, you'd never see that before. Mm -hmm.